So I've got the uh, first coat of the Pettit Primer, Pettit Protect Primer on, and uh, I'm actually, I did it a couple days ago. And uh, so now I'm ready to uh, do the second coat of primer. And one thing with this uh, primer, you can see some lines here. What I did is um, I used a roller and, uh, and it was a microfiber roller. And then what I did is if I came, then I, if I did, a, did some on like this, and then kind of went some other area and then came back, it would create a line like that. So it's kind of a one-shot deal. This wet edge, you just kind of kind of keep moving. And a line like that's not a big deal. It's not like there's any, you can't really feel it. But um, so what I'm gonna do this for the second coat is I'm gonna go all the way down sides and kind of work my way all that way. Um, something else that happened is <clears throat> some fibers came off my microfiber roller. And so I was trying to pick them off um, and you can see what happened. This stuff, when you put it on, it drives. It's like it starts drying really fast. So there's kind of no, you can see these lines. There's no kind of going over because after I was done, I came back and tried to smooth some areas out and it doesn't work so good. Um, and actually, you know, you pick the paint will just cover all this. But um, but this up in here, though, it, it kind of made some texture. So I'm going to try to smooth that out a little bit with some light sanding of 80 grit. Um, and uh, and also up in here, my last, I worked from the back forward on each side. So I did that side over there first, all the way forward, and then I started back here. And I was trying to do the sides as I went along. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna do those all at the same time. But what happened up here, I don't know if you can see it, there's extra texture up here. When I, I only had like this area to go and I re-wetted my roller and there was just too much paint or too much of the primer on it. So this got actually a thicker, thicker, a little bit thicker coating, and uh, it made that texture. So I'm gonna try to sand that down, just lightly smooth that off a little bit before I do the second coat. So so yeah, this uh, Pettit Protect primer is, I mean, it's not like regular paint, it's a different kind of an animal. So um, I'll, uh, I'll update another video after I get second coat of primer on, and then a few hours after that, three to four, depending on how it feels and tackiness and things, I actually be putting the first coat of paint on um, after that. So the second coat of primer is on now and uh, I'm just waiting for it to cure enough, probably three to four hours or so, and then you don't have to wait for full cure. Um, actually, it's better to do it they recommend three to five hours after the second coat of primer and then for the copper bronze. So here it is, I'm working on mixing this up. And so I need to get it mixed really well. I put it, I took it to the hardware store and they shook it last night, but I still need to mix some more and I'll just have to shake it by hand. So uh, I'll be doing paint here a little bit later. I just applied the uh, first coat of the uh, Pettit copper bronze uh, racing paint in 1959. And uh, turned out pretty good. Um, I have some some roller marks that are leveling out some. I tried to do some rework over here on this side and that kind of made it almost worse. So, and there's some texture to it. I The, uh, the primer ended up with some texture to it, which I guess is okay, but it's gonna look nice once it's done. So I'm planning only one more coat and I'm hoping to do a better job for the roller marks and things. Um, but, uh, so anyway, there's the first coat on there. Hopefully you can see the color. Try not to get too much reflection there. So, coat number one. So last night I finished the uh, second coat of the Pettit Copper Bronze uh, racing paint and it turned out really well. It certainly shows if the boat was not perfectly fared, it certainly shows. Um, and for my second coat, I got some help on how to avoid roller marks and uh, so unfortunately I, in my first coat I didn't do that as well, but it actually I'm really happy with the finish. 
And uh, so I just took off the uh, <clears throat> skirt plastic and I had some bleed through along that edge, which I on purpose kind of did a little bit with my epoxy because I wanted my seal to actually be below, um, well, in this case, since it's up to down, slightly below where my fiberglass went. So I've got my final, my epoxy, when I uh, epoxied the fiberglass, I had that go, I try to do just below that, and then also my primer and paint. So I taped it off just below that edge. And uh, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now I'm gonna be working on um, final fairing of the sides. But uh, that's the uh, copper bronze bottom. The color, it's not shown as well um, with my fluorescent lights. Maybe if I come back here a little bit, you can see it, it really is a nice color. And it's metallic kind of a finish. Um, see if I turn those lights off if it helps a little bit. No, not really. So, so I'm done uh, painting the bottom.